Hello and welcome along the people to another one of my little videos. What am I doing? I'm going for a little spin, basically just to see where I end up. So jump on the back and come along for a ride. Across the border from Essex into Suffolk. Right, let's put the uh, cruise control on. What I find with my right hand when I'm riding along, after I've been riding the 1150, you kind of push the 1150 along because it's on wire, you know, it's a proper cable throttle, and uh, obviously she's carrying a little bit of weight, bless her. Um, the wireless fly-by-wire throttle is so light, and this is my excuse, um, that you can find yourself doing more than the speed limit really, really quickly. So, going through the 30 mile an hour speed limit, um, especially if it's like this, it does pay to just take it nice and steady and uh, I don't want any points. Off we go. So the sign that was just over my right hand sh over my right hand shoulder it said Newmarket and that is where we're headed. Is it me? Please, tell me. But I think there's just something... I'm going to say it. Quintessentially British about British villages. It just... You just know you're in England. You know, it's British. It's the village. It's not all about Big Ben and Whitehall, thankfully. Let's not talk about Big Ben and especially Whitehall. But, um, yeah, for me, I absolutely love uh, architecture. And, uh, and the architecture should almost tell you what country you're in. And for me, when I'm in England, the villages. Um, my wife gave me a fantastic map. I shall... can't remember the name of the map at the moment, but it's a map of England. And it tells you of all the different villages where there is cheese rolling, wife carrying, uh, barra, wheelbarrow racing, um, 
and it's all in these different villages. It's brilliant. I shall take a photograph of it and put it on the screen. It's uh, it's brilliant, and that to me just screams British. That that's to me that's that's England, and uh, it's the English sense of humour. I love it. I followed two friends of mine, Bob and Helen, on their sidecar, which is similar to ours, and we went all the way from their house at Ridgewell up through this way, and um, we didn't hit a main road, we crossed main roads, but we didn't actually go on any main road pretty much all the way to Peterborough, and it was brilliant. So ever since then, I have always done um, this little road while I've been going to Newmarket. Um, it's just nice. I like all the different shaped houses. You got ones with thatched cottages, you know, proper brick built ones. Um, yeah, just a cornucopia, a smorgasbord of different types of architecture. So now this is the bike I'm quite interested in. It's the new Sportster. And uh, as I took out the Pan America quite some time ago, last year, this has got the same or a very similar engine, 1250 also. It's the 1250 Revolution engine. Slightly detuned compared to the uh, one in the Pan America. Yeah, so this is Harley Davidson's new water-cooled V-twin according to Mike, the guy who is the manager here, because this power plant will be going in a lot of the new models. So hopefully next time I visit, I should be taking one of these out for a spin. Okay, so that was my visit to Harley Davidson Newmarket. I've drank coffee, I've made a purchase, and I've looked at all of the shiny stuff. Now it's time to get back on the road and head off to Evie. Just buy it, look. <laughs> look at this, look. <sighs> I want one like that. Oh, look, I have. Oh, you got one. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That was Harley Davidson Newmarket. Let's have a quick zip over to um, Ely for no other reason than it's just a really nice, picturesque place to go. see the tip of one of the towers on Ely Cathedral, just coming into view. This town is known as the Isle of Ely, and the reason it's known as the Isle of Ely is because it used to be surrounded by water, and it still is to an extent, but um, it's not cut off anymore, so it's not, strictly speaking, an island. So we should hopefully see and get a proper nice view of it any moment now. Um, the, the cathedral itself is known as the... Oh, is it the Ship of the Fens? And going back to what I said earlier about architecture and everything, liking and loving architecture like I do, um, it's just one of those buildings you look at and go, wow. I'm 
sure the nave in the cathedral is one of the longest naves and has a wide and extensive uh, amount of stained glass windows. Beautiful, beautiful building. And hopefully we'll be able to go inside today and I'll show you a little bit of it. Not that I can tell you an awful lot about it, but uh, hopefully we can just see it. Oh, there we go. If I can try and find an appropriate spot to pull over. There it is. There she blows. What an impressive building. Just sits up there overlooking all the fen, the fen land. Um, you can see why they call it the uh, the ship of the fens. Russian cannon captured during the Crimea War, presented to the people of Ely by Queen Victoria in 1860, to mark the creation of the Ely Rifles and Volunteers. There you go. That's why there's a cannon there. I think there's Morris dancers dancing outside the front of the cathedral, so I'm going to dash down there and try and catch them. I'm told these groovy people are the Norwich Kick Witches. Very entertaining they are too. <laughs> monochrome coloured dancers, equally as entertaining, called Pink Dyke Molly. I love it. Inside the West Tower at the moment, just inside the front door, the main entrance of the cathedral and then I'm going to turn left in a moment as you can see up there where those people are standing you can actually walk all the way around but as I'm wearing bike gear I'm not going to walk all the way around today and I'm just going to do the ground level and try and catch a few beauty shots and then crack on again but it's well worth a visit and well worth a tour Isn't that just epic? You don't have to be really religious to uh, to appreciate the uh, the architecture and the art and the ceiling. or choir singing here, it's just spine-tingly beautiful, it's absolutely wonderful.
so the octagon that I just videoed a moment ago, um, that is the structure of the beams, the wooden structure that makes up the octagon. Back of the cathedral, or towards the, uh, the altar end of the cathedral there, and is a memorial to the RAF. Okay, that is it from me for this time. Hopefully you have enjoyed the video of two halves. Um, a visit to Harley and a visit to Ely. Breathtaking Ely Cathedral in the background. Um, until next time people, take care of yourself. Please leave a comment in the comment section below. Please leave a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Don't forget to ding dong that bell. And that way you will never miss another video here on the Mad Leprechaun. Take care, people. See you later. Bye-bye.